The best address on TV is inspired by private property. Start your search for property now on privateproperty.co.za. Tonight on Winner Home, we go beyond the essential fittings of a functional bathroom and add character, warmth and style. This space instantly becomes the hottest room in the house courtesy of the STEAM team, our four aspiring designers facing their second decor challenge. Welcome to Winner Home, the show where with every weekly competition you enter, you take a step closer to three phenomenal prizes. Someone out there stands a chance of winning a grand prize of a luxury penthouse on South Africa's premier lifestyle estate, Stain City, or a new Mercedes-Benz C-Class, or seeing as our grand prize apartment is based in the city of gold, two 100 gram gold bars worth over 100,000 Rand in total. Our prize apartment on Stain City's lifestyle estate is taking shape, and the main bedroom Bedroom's ensuite bathroom is in the spotlight. The bathroom I want to keep completely simple, clinical, clean, but I definitely want it to have like a little bit of soul. I also want to maybe bring in our, our theme of Egoli or City of Gold. I want to put something in there that like pops. I think that might come in the form of, of taps, Matt. To see what state-of-the-art and flawless functionality really mean, Mops visits Cobra. This building is absolutely massive, and I can see that it's a buzz with workers. We're at the heart of Cobra, South African icon. How has the company evolved? Cobra has started in the early 50s, I think 1951, founded by a German company, and the European influence is quite high. So therefore, our focus on eco-friendliness and green concepts, and we've developed that through the years. You're very proud that it's a green building. How has Cobra lowered its carbon footprint? We've done a number of things. In this building, you can see it's got natural light all over coming in. The little bit of electricity lights it here is all LED. The ventilation is natural up top there. The vents can be opened and vent the air out. All the water heating done is by solar heating. And then, of course, from the crumb plating plant, we recycle the water with a new installation plant that we just introduced. So, Nati, how does this work? What makes this eco-friendly? Maps, this is a Cobra tap. They're all equipment. And particularly this little feature here, it's a flow restrictor that reduces the flow by approximately 50% of what me and you were used to a couple of years ago. It only emits about six liters a minute. And does the same thing apply to your shower heads? Exactly the same principle are applied into our showers, especially the big rain showers. They give that, that feeling of a lot of water, but it's actual fact only nine liters of water. Here we are in our R&D department, engineering development, and this is some of our products. This one in particular is hot off the line, and it is something like this that you can expect in a winter home apartment with all the fancy features to make it eco-friendly. Home solutions company Cordev designs and installs built-in cupboards that add style, but also solve storage challenges. So Donovan, this is the room that uh, you guys are going to be working on. Yes, exactly. I'm very excited about it. And of course, mirrors are a great way of getting dressing rooms like this to look bigger and a lot more impressive. What tricks have you got up your sleeves? That's exactly it, Mumps. The mirrors do make this room a whole lot bigger. And the beautiful thing is with this finish that we're putting on this side, with the wooden combination and the high gloss white, it really breaks the two textures beautifully, giving you a classic and modern feel at the same time. The other great thing about the cupboards are that they're fully manufactured in Germany and from sustainable forestry. So you literally have a green cupboard. The interiors are obviously very special. We've got things like floating drawers, special racks to hang all your clothing, tie racks, bolt racks, soft closing doors on the inside as well. So tons of features to keep your clothing neat and tidy. Well, that sounds great and I love these kind of rooms and I can't wait to check it out because it's difficult to be stylish without an awesome mirror. Bathrooms should have dual personalities, practical and indulgent. We're now in Morningside Santon, where this residence blends luxury with high tech. One of the things that buyers really like to see first up are the bathrooms. It was a five-star hotel spa that inspired the calm lines and earthy colors of this ensuite bathroom. Mirrors cleverly increase the illusion of space and reflect natural light. Simon, what about all the things that we can't see, such as the plumbing? That's one area that buyers can certainly get caught out. You know, you come into a beautiful home, uh, you're looking at the finishes and the features, but behind the walls lurks the plumbing. And in some cases, that can be pretty old school. It can be very inefficient from an energy saving point of view. So it's worthwhile asking about the upgrades that have been made to the home. And so if you are thinking about saving money on fittings or features when building your home, 
don't save money in the bathroom. Uh, return on investment is far improved if you spend a little bit of extra money on features like tiles and taps and, and great showers. Buyers remember that. In nearby Hurlingham on the outskirts of Santon CBD, this 15 million rand five bedroom house has a master bedroom bathroom and dressing room suite that says this could be home. Wow, now this is something that you're going to love. Hollywood style with glass fronted cupboards and marble top counters tips the luxury scale. Simon, what's the value of having a dressing room in the home? It's certainly a trend we're seeing in bathrooms these days. They seem to be getting bigger and bigger. They're turning from just the functional space to more of a relaxation zone. And certainly the dressing room is an extension of that. A beautiful dressing room can really add value to a home, uh, but it's also just a space that is uniquely yours. Who does a room such as this appeal to? Well, I mean, that's easy. What woman wouldn't want a beautiful dressing room like this? And certainly when it comes to the buying decision for your next property, women are critically important. Uh, over 65% of browsers on private property are in fact women. So we know that they uh, certainly hold the purse strings when it comes to the next property purchase. Next up on Winner Home, our four aspiring young designers compete in our decor challenge for a 100,000 Rand cash prize and to become a preferred supplier to Stain City. Cobra taps and mixes, an integral part of our South African lives. Because PPC gives you strength beyond the bag, we're with you on every build. Showcasing homes from every corner of our remarkable country. Visit Private Property now on your smartphone or tablet. Good looking. Quietly fits right in. Clever. and loved by everyone. You could almost build your home around it. The new Samsung washing machine, WW9000. Plascon Double Velvet, the washable and stain resistant paint. Now with a 15 year quality guarantee. Plascon, paint with imagination. Welcome back to Win a Home, where every competition you enter brings you closer to the draw for the multi-million rand Stain City Grand Prize Apartment. And a weekly website vote puts you in line for Nedbank's fabulous 50,000 rand prize. Vote for the work of our four designers. Last week, Donald impressed the judges with his air-themed bedroom. This week, it is your challenge to decorate the bathroom. And once again, you only have four days to conceptualize, source, paint, and implement your designs. Each contestant has a total budget of 250,000 Rand to decorate their apartment. Each week, their mentor allocates a portion of that budget to the room at hand. I walk into the bathroom, and the first thing that I see is that my bathroom is narrow and it's long. It's a different space. I thought that my bathroom would be a slightly more square. The feedback from the judges last week is that they want to see more of me. So I want to put more of myself in this room. I want to put more of the ideas that I have and, and the bathroom that I would like to take a bath in. Week two, day two, shopping day. I'm back at the same store. I'm looking for something that is an alternative to the normal towel rack that will add a bit of a wow factor to my room. I walk into the store and I see the perfect thing. I see the bamboo ladders. And I think that this will work perfectly with what I'm trying to do in my bathroom. Steven's away this week. I'm all on my own. Uh, last week he was very involved. He, he helped me a lot, gave me a lot of pointers. This week I'm kind of, uh, kind of on my own, but it's not a problem. I think that uh, having him on the phone constantly, and although it be uh, at a distance, he's still helping me. The key pointer that he gave me was not to overclutter it with earthy stuff. So I'm trying to bring earth into it, but not overcrowd the bathroom and leave enough space for you to still feel relaxed. Jason has been allocated a budget of 10,000 Rand by his mentor, Stephen Falk. He's chosen textured wallpaper for a feature wall inspired by the world of fashion and travel. The wallpaper that I'm using is very busy. There's a lot of images on it. I try to get the paint 
that would soften the busyness of the wallpaper, so to speak. Uh, choosing the paint was difficult. On the Plascon website, there's a colored chart that you can choose your colors from. And there are so many different colors to choose from, but I think I eventually got the color that I feel that works best with the wallpaper that I got. Week two, Thursday again. I'm arriving late again. This time, Steven is with me. He gets there before me. Uh, not a good look. Uh, he gave me the eye. He gave me a bit of a dirty look, but that's okay. Jason is using the on-trend bamboo ladder instead of steel bathroom rails. The ladder will support towels while taking up very little of the precious floor space. Small touches like fragrant candles and artwork feed the senses. We're getting in there, we're putting the bathroom together and we will finish on time, so help me, we're finishing on time. Jason completes the room with African-Asian touches that talk to his earth theme. How will Jonathan Avnon interpret his elements of fire in the cool bathroom space? His mentor, Dabi Tokobong, has allocated him a budget of 7,000 Rand. The first thing I do when I walk into my bathroom is take out my Samsung Note Pro. I immediately started taking photos with the camera function, and then you're able to basically go over and sketch your kind of ideas for the space, which I find incredibly useful because while you're standing there, I wanted to get an idea of what I wanted to do and to be able to have the space on the tablet and place things as you would normally do it was a very helpful tool. As I have quite a limited budget, I'm obviously quite limited on what I can buy, so I need to be very specific in what I'm going to get. As such, and Tabi and I have game planned a few specific items which we think will be key for the space custom curtains or something that we feel will be a great way to bring in some color and pick up the fire theme, as well as some more striking artwork and just some very key decor accessories. I've come to the fabric store that I used last week to do my scatter cushions. They have a really great selection of options that work well with my fire theme. I am trying to do something in the curtain fabric that obviously picks up on the fire theme, but still, again, is something a little bit different. My paint color for the bathroom is Plascon Stone Statue. It's a very muted, ashy tone, which again, picks up on the fire element. I didn't want to do a brown like I did in the bedroom because I did want to create some kind of a contrast, but I do also think it's a beautiful complement to the colors that I have used in the bedroom, which is obviously something that's important to me. The key thing for me doing my bathroom in such a small space was to choose a very select amount of accessories. I think sometimes people feel the need to overcompensate and I think editing was something that I learned was really important when dealing with the small space and having a very prominent theme that you have to carry through. And Tubby is kind enough to bring me a collection of her home range. They perfectly complement the space that I've done. The smell is incredible. Of course, I'm gonna to have to fit them into my budget, but I'm really happy that she had the foresight to bring them. It's 3.30, we're done with the room well before the deadline, and Tabi and I both take a step back, and once again, we're really happy with what we've achieved. We did have a limited budget, but we managed to incorporate some key elements, the great artwork, the handmade tray on the bathtub and the really, really nice curtains. And I think everything just came together perfectly once again. The Strelitzia not only brings striking color to the setting, but the indigenous flowers add a sculptural element to the interior. Tim, this is a Jonathan's creation when it comes to the bathroom. Now, I want to find out how does a well-decorated bathroom add value to a home? Well, to me, it certainly does. You know, a bathroom like this that is well lit, well laid out, I mean, the decor in all the right places, from a show day point of view, when you're selling your home, you can really bring in prospective buyers and really give them a sense of how they can see themselves living in a space like this. Now, that age-old real estate question, shower or bath, does it still apply? Well, to me, back in the day, most apartments really had baths because water conservation was not a priority. And uh, as time went along, most apartments then started to have either the shower or the bath. And this particular one has both. So for the days where you feel like the efficient option, which is a shower, and for the days where you just want to let your hair down, the bath is still available for you. So as a selling point, this is what you can call a full bathroom, which adds immediate value to the apartment. With more than the four-day time limit to constrain him, last week's favorite, Donald Mumalo, has been given an airtight budget by his mentor, Abilene Brody. So I only have 5,000 Rand, and I look at the bathroom, and I'm thinking to myself, 
oh, I'm gonna have to do everything myself. I'm gonna have to paint myself. I literally can't afford anyone or anything. I can only afford a towel rail. So I look at the space and I think, how am I gonna interpret wind? And I have no idea. And I look up and I say, oh, mm hmm You know, the sky, wind, looking up. Let's make the people look up. With no room and no budget for grand decor touches, Donald is on the hunt for originality in the form of affordable accessories. Out the corner of his eye, he spots what soon becomes his own fan club. So I'm walking through the aisles and to my right, I see these little figurines. So I look there and I'm like, mm, how can we bring this into wind? I see a fan. So I put the fan in front of these figurines and then they looked blown away. And I'm like, ah. The gods are with me. It turns out Donald also has an artistic eye. A few brushstrokes later, and he's hatched a clever ceiling plan to amuse anyone lolling about at bath time. I see you stenciling there. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well. I've done my first block, and I'm really excited about it. It's working out very well. I've heard you have your challenge this week with a small budget, and I think stenciling is a fantastic way to add dimension, especially when you don't have that much money to add um, a paint technique. And the stunning thing is that you're using the metallic range. This is a fantastic way to add luster and dimension to a room. And I love the fact that you're using it on the ceiling because when the light hits it, different views, different angles, it's gonna add such a stunning effect to the room. Yeah. But one tip, this paint contains metal filings. So what happens if it sits, the metal filings go down to the bottom. So for you to get that metallic effect, you need to stir it really properly before you apply it. But I think this looks amazing. So Dumi counts us down, she says 20 minutes. And I can tell, you know, I need more than 20 minutes to finish the seating. And my back is sore, my neck is stiff, and I don't think I'll make it in 20 minutes. Luckily, Donald's mentor, Abilene, is on hand to stop him from getting in a ladder. So five minutes before five o'clock, I realize, oh my goodness, I can actually get this done. So I style the bathroom, the stencil is finished, everything looks good, I've laid out the candles, I'm happy with my room. I put the orchids on the shelves, roll the towels, and I get out of there. Done. Somehow, Donald has made the bathroom look bigger, enough for a small but animated crowd. Still to come on Winner Home, we've seen how earth, fire and air bring character to a bathroom. But will it be water that raises the creative levels? Life is about being more savvy with your money, like when you're buying a house. My dream house, not. Hi. Hi. We'll make an offer. Great. No! Subject to bond approval. It could take weeks. Eugene, you can beat them. With Nedbank, you get online bond approval within hours. But it's Sunday. No problem. You can do it anytime, anywhere. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my pressure. Make online bond approval within hours happen. Visit any Nedbank today. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm Wash away all the pain of yesterday. I know my For some, luxury is an absolute necessity, which is why they always come home to double velvet. Washable and stain resistant. Plascon Double Velvet. The new Samsung washing machine. Make your home improvements happen with Nedbank Readvance. To access the funds already paid into your home loan, SMS home to 30755. Nedbank Home Loans in association with Winner Home. We're back in Stain City where our grand prize apartment is taking shape before our eyes. And close by, our fat four designers are competing in the bathroom decor challenge. We've seen three polished looks. But will Lisa have what it takes to steam ahead? With their water theme, contestant Lisa Schultz and mentor Amanda Elliott need some lateral thinking. Taking a look at the bathroom now and seeing the space, it's, it's quite small and there's a lot of finishes already. So I'm gonna have to be clever to try not to overclutter it, but still bring in my theme. With Amanda's generous 20,000 Rand budget allocation, Lisa's keen to splash out on water-inspired accessories to fill the bathroom. Having all this money and being in the shops, we're getting all excited and we've decided to have a bit of fun with all this money we've got. We've got the biggest budget. 
We were inspired by the picture in my bedroom. We decided she looks like Alice in Wonderland, so we might bring some of the fun into the bathroom. Lisa, look what I found. Don't you think they're so quirky? And it goes so lovely with your theme. Even yeah. though they say tea, coffee, sugar, I think we can put them in the bathroom. Oh, definitely. We can even put bath salts or maybe a secret candy stash in there. I like the secret candy idea. That's wonderful. Having Amanda as a mentor has been amazing. I actually feel very fortunate. She's extremely hands-on, but she gives me a lot of space to do my own thing. And she just guides me through my decisions that I actually make myself. And through that, I learned to make better decisions from her experience. We spotted this rabbit and decided to follow it into the bathroom. We've got a silver cat and even a tea party concept going in there. So we've definitely got a nice surprise up our sleeve. I've decided to use this beautiful turquoise color. And once again, the name's perfect for my water theme. The color's called Mermaid. And it's quite funny, because last week my color was scuba diver. So I'm definitely in this theme. Without trying very hard, I just keep on choosing the right colors. Turquoise is actually my favorite color, and it's so versatile. So it's, I'm just really enjoying using it in every way I possibly can with my water theme. The biggest challenges of the day is getting all the shelves on the right positions so everything lines up nicely. Getting the big heavy mirror up, that's quite nerve-wracking. Lisa uses both the old and new to create contrast and visual interest. Distressed wooden frames offset the modern lines of the bathroom, while those silver tins they discovered turn out to be decorative and functional. I just finished, I'm an hour early, so I'm very relaxed. Standing back, I'm very happy. I think we've brought the theme through nicely. Still have a little element of fun with a Alice in Wonderland with a rabbit on the shelf and the cat next to the basin. So yeah, I'm happy with what we've created. Lisa's shabby chic wonderland of a bathroom has already attracted an admirer. Hey, Cindy, what are you up to there? Is there space for me? I see you've made yourself at home in Lisa's bathroom. Well, I can't help myself. I love all the bathrooms. I really don't know how the judges are going to choose. I know what you mean. I specifically like Lisa's use of plants and flowers everywhere. It really makes it feel very fairy-like. It's just that the pollen makes my eyes a bit sensitive. Well, let me tell you this. This bathroom is fitted with a Samsung virus doctor, which lessens pain and discomfort by eliminating all the allergens in the air, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, I have a couple of friends that are going to like that, and my husband. He's very allergic. Well, let me tell you more. It actually cleans the air from all the viruses and fungus, so you can actually breathe in some healthy air without worrying about a thing. I think this might be my favorite bathroom. <laughs> Enough about that. Let me borrow that fab mascara you're using. <laughs> girls will be girls. The hygienic virus doctor will be just one of the many Samsung products that will form part of our grand prize apartment interior. With all four bathrooms complete, our three judges, Stain City's head of marketing, Tammy Menton, our presenter, Mops Maponyane, and interior design guru, Kim Hutton, must make the call. Will it be earth, wind, fire, or water that turns their heads? The four young designers are sharpening up their skills, but with budget a wild card and time an added stress factor, it's anyone's guess who will come closer to winning the 100,000 Rand cash prize. This week was particularly difficult to decide on because you all presented beautiful bathrooms. I think based on creativity, sticking to the theme, livability and uh, practicality and adaptability, I'd have to give it to Donald. Interestingly enough, this week was not as difficult for me. Um, last week I really struggled with my decision and um, I was quite torn, but there was a definite clear winner for me and it goes to Donald. Uh, to me it was more difficult than last week, the judging this time. And again, it's like just a difficult circumstance. Donald. Well, the judges have made their choice, but your view also counts, and it may just land you 50,000 Rand from Nedbank. All you need to do is go to our website, winathome.tv, choose your favorite designer theme, and answer the Nedbank question. See you next week for more reality and real estate, more drama and design decor. To make sure you're in the running to win the Stain City Apartments or the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class or the two 100-gram gold bars, enter our weekly competitions. This week, we're giving away a connectivity package from Telcom that includes a laptop plus internet with data for 12 months. Tell us, does the prize apartments have two bathrooms? Enter online or SMS the keyword win a home plus your name and answer one yes or two no to 33764. 
Winner Home, proudly connected by Telcom Broadband. The best address on TV is inspired by private property. Start your search for property now on privateproperty.co.za.